It's your day. Hey, out of the way. Get up, kid. All right, who's on the uh, who's coming up first la la. today? Should we do what time is it? Two thirty nine. I still got another hour or no, I got a half hour before I eat my edible. We're gonna eat edibles at three hours in. That's when we're gonna time it now. Sounds fair. Three hours in, and then we should have a hell of a next three hours there. All right, who do we got here today? Okay, I'll give you two to choose from. Two we to choose. do Lana's cooking show or Tom Segura on Office Hours. Let's do Lana's cooking show. I'm ready for this. Lana, 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 fabulous, Lana Rhodes. Lana Rhodes and Big Mike are back together. Facts. And uh, you're not going to believe this new cooking show. They did. Remember when Burt Kreischer actually had an amazing show called Something's Burning with Burt Kreischer? I fucking loved this show, bro. And they canceled it because he wasn't able to sell it to Netflix. So Burt Kreischer, whenever he does a show, it's so that it could be sold to a network so that he could get a bunch of money. It has no, there's nothing behind his shows where he's like, I just want to put out something good. And just living on the internet is not good enough for Burt Kreischer. So when he saw that nobody was picking up something's burning, he just canceled it. It's not worth it. So, um... Lana Rhodes and her two bimbo friends have now started a similar show called, what is it called, Jules? Um, Three Girls, One Kitchen, Where is I it? believe. Three Girls, One Kitchen. Are up to the top here? Yep. Throw that up. We watched Sam Morrell. That's what oh, I'm seeing here. It's not updating. Not updating. Okay, Lana's cooking show, Three Girls, One Kitchen. And it's three porn star sluts. And they're in the kitchen making cookies and having a conversation. They want podcast money. Here's how it starts. It's how everything starts now. People go, we want money. And then they go, okay. Got any sponsors? They go, yes. And then they build from there. Okay. Nobody ever just makes something from the, uh, you know, their heart anymore. And then eventually, like, if you see a podcast get started, on day one, they have merch. They have no fans yet, but they have merch, advertisers. They're selling you. And it's all planned out. So it starts with the idea of, oh, I'd like to make money doing something easy. And then they branch out from there. Okay, so that's what Lana did. Uh, they want money. So they hired this uh, company. They found a sponsor. They found this. Uh, we don't know what it is because all the cans. And you see this all the time. Like a girl will get sponsored by Bang Energy Drink for her video. And then she's got the drink like this on the show and you can't see the label because the girls are so stupid so the company is sitting there at home going i just gave you ten thousand dollars turn the fucking can around <laughs> all these girls are so dumb i couldn't even tell you who the sponsor was because they got three cans on their desk like this and that's supposed to be the sponsor you would think the sponsor should sue them because if i don't know the sponsor and i'm watching to cover it and then at the end they switch to starbucks yes <laughs> it's like complete retardation out there and companies are just falling for numbers they're just like she has numbers i will and it must work i think it just works i think lana rhodes could just pick up and go jim beam i hate it it's nigger buy it and they'll still make enough money to justify what they paid her well copying your ad style copying my ad style hey, let's before see we watch this did you want to have a drink <laughs> no <laughs> not at all but maybe later Got thank it. you um let's watch her cooking show and everybody knows lana rhodes okay big mike's girlfriend and why what do i always say about lana in fact give me the song golden shower she drinks from the bowl drink this is the part that i can't get over all right i'm going to show you something so here's sex here's horror two of my favorite things right <laughs> sex and horror but when I'm like interested in sex, I want sex. When I'm interested in horror, I want horror. Lana Rhodes porn videos fall. I wish I had a third hand. Here's horror, here's sex. Lana Rhodes porn videos are like all the way over here. Okay? If there was a scale from sex to horror. She drank urine out of a guy's dick. And then the spillage from the urine fell into a Pyrex bowl and she drank that. That, to me, disqualifies you from humanity. Could have been a mistake. 
could have been this, could have been that. It's too far for me. And once you've gone from sex over that line, like there's that line in the middle, and she crossed into it more into the horror and gore section, and that's where I go, you're not like a person. Like I can't get over the pee drinking. I just can't. It's too far, and you weren't paid enough money to make, like if, I, that should be one of those things where you go, for $5 million, okay, well, for $5 million, I'll drink piss. Can't even do it for $1 million. For $5 million, she just drink piss, but for twenty thousand dollars, you're gonna be completely naked, drinking piss out of a lit dick, and then out of the bowl. No. Uh, do we have golden shower here? Here we go. Lana Rhodes, everybody, let's do Lana one. Lana Rhodes, Mike's porn star is. girlfriend, who you can see chugging. Lana made. Google it for yourself. We can't show it on the show. It's too disturbing. Google Lana Rhodes urine gold. Uh, really, it's all real. Here we go. Yes. Tap and skin. Look at her. Just listen. Really? Golden shower. Golden shower. Here's my favorite. Drink from the bowl. Drink, drink from the bowl. Golden shower. You remember this, right? Golden shower. Chug, chug. Drink from the bowl. So Lana does this cooking show, right? And she starts off here. I'll, like, I'll start off the show for you guys so you can see uh, like the mood, the energy of uh, Lana Rhodes, Big Mike's current girlfriend. By the way, Lana, you break up with Mike. You're off Red Bar. Pretty good deal. <laughs> um, Lana's mood is a little off. Let's watch. <laughs> it looks like a giant cookie. This is literally a dream come true for me. What is she staring at? Look wow. at her. Wait. Yeah. Did you see what I said? <laughs> so for the last six months, she's been plagued with this drink from the bowl stuff. Every video I make of Mike is drink from the bowl. Let's follow Lana's eye line here. True for me. Uh. Wow. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Could it be, now they're having a baking show, right? <laughs> Could that be the same bowl that we always make fun of you about? She had no idea there was gonna be a bowl here and this <laughs> triggered her into going, oh no. So she's in the worst headspace during this show. <laughs> They've got the bowl here, a Pyrex bowl here. This would be like if Clayformer's mask was presented to me during that, I'd be like, ah. Just kidding. But you know what I mean? Here, look. Oh, get your roller, get your roller. Yeah, I'm gonna roll it. First. She oh, wait, is, all of a sudden she sees <laughs> this ball and she's like, fuck. Poor Lana. Yes, poor Lana. Why do you have to roll it? Like, I've look. always wanted to know. It's just, it's something wait, like. This is a roller? Yeah. What she you can't, so she's thrown <laughs> off completely. Was. I think they're like even gonna mention the bowl. A that you, like, spanker! That you found outside. Look at this. Well, who bought it? In the forest. Didn't With you buy it? Crap on it? No. I mean, Dan, it was in your kitchen. Yeah, they're going to mention really? the bowl, I think. This was yeah. in your kitchen. I thought you guys got this. Well, the show's awful, by the way. What, did Olivia buy this up for And these <laughs> girls all have fake butts, so it's <laughs> disgusting. Love that Spencer's actually. Look, this is that <laughs> brand I was talking about. Look, this is the brand deal. Hey, we're going to feature your drink in the ad. Give us $10,000. What drink? I mean, this could be a Bud Light. It could be a coffee, a new coffee. I, I, I don't know what it is. Every fucking can is to where I can't see it. And you know what? That's the company's fault, too. These 23-year-old uh, marketing companies in L.A. All trying to get the bag. All forgetting what the fucking point is. And look at this shitty kitchen. I mean, this is a real crap old kitchen. Let's see. I think they're going to mention this bowl. Focus on the roller, they're saying. Really? I don't know. It was, like, really big in Indiana. Like, it was. Honestly, honestly I would be so excited to when go When I was in middle school, it was really big. Yeah. yeah. Asked, Look at yes. this. Hold on. I actually stole my mom's credit card one time and ordered a stripper pull off Spencer. <laughs> and they called the fraud. So all they've done, they've taken out some frozen cookie dough. I'm not kidding. They didn't make this dough. They took it out of the package. And for 45 minutes, they just need cookie dough. Yes. They don't bake and anything. Chit -chat. They chit chat and need cookie dough. Oh, no, no clue. Apartment, called Watch my mom and <laughs> and she probably got the voice this girl by the way didn't realize that this angle of her destroys everything she's built <laughs> like i've seen this girl like a hundred times online and never knew she was this ugly because she knows her angles and then they filmed her from the side here she looks like something from the sopranos here 
smell of that. Like, oh, and they, they should like, mention the bowls. Someone like stole her card and <gasps> ordered it, which I did. Um, <laughs> which but they were like, did. she was like, no, I didn't order that. And they were like, well, it's going to your address. <laughs> and then she called me on the phone and was super. I don't know if they actually mention it. I, I swear the word bowl is mentioned. I swear. I think we were just talking about no, it so No, much. no, no, no. Okay. Let me just. Building the stripper pole. I was like, <laughs> Did you <laughs> she say? She's like, task grab, but I'm doing it myself. <laughs> Dude, and I couldn't get it to stick on the ceiling. And I kept okay, I'll do this just for time's sake. Let's go back to that beginning. And, uh, stick, a but you, like, stinker! You found outside. <laughs> well, who bought for time's sake, here, watch this. Didn't you buy it? Crap on it? No. Come on. I mean, Dan it was in your kitchen. Oh, nope, that bowl's back already. Wow, that's really quick they do this first bowl, huh? <laughs> it looks like a giant cookie. This is literally a dream come true for me. Ah. Hold on, I just want to get the perfect shot. Check this out. Oh! So there's the bowl, and there's Lana. That's good. <laughs> Guys, why don't we... Have a toast, all right, to Lana. And this just doesn't seem appropriate. Her bowl is so, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Lana, this one's for you. And you could do this at home too. Guys, let's give Lana uh, another chance and drink from the bowl. Hold on, I wish I had that song queued up. That would be great, Golden Shower. I can't because I got it zoomed oh, in here. Fuck. Uh, fuck, but it, wouldn't it be better to have that song? Let me get that song playing. This will be better. All right, here you go. Lana, Lana Rhodes, Mike, get your balls. Who you can Come on, see. guys, raise Come your balls. Here, Are they laughing yet? Lana there you go. made many P videos, real P videos, where men the same with half boners were able to shoot through it. Yes. Hold and shower. Here you go. All right, we get it already. They're going to die when I drink from the ball, right? Cheers! Golden shower. Golden shower. Here we go. Facts. Drink from the bowl. Drink, drink from the bowl. Golden shower. I did it! Golden shower. Yes! Drink, drink, drink from the bowl. Drink, drink, drink from the bowl. Golden Woo! shower. Woo! Amara is not very shy about. Very nice, right? Really? No, really? I cannot wrap my head around uh. the idea of drinking a pee. It's toilet bowl uh. stuff. Yo. Oh, that was a big shot, too, out of the bowl. I, I couldn't judge it from the bowl. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> what the fuck was that? If they just saw her drink from a man's a jank. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy. I need to know how you justify drinking your rain. I need water And now. then from the bowl, here, here, here. the spillage. And it was getting all over the floor. All over the floor. Golden shower. One second. Golden shower. Facts. Drink, drink from, from the bowl. bowl. Drink, drink from, from the bowl. Golden shower. Golden shower. Golden shower. Yes, she has a pass. Yeah, it's on video. <gasps> she was just chugging hell of a piss. What monsters are viewing this content? I said, what? Oh, shoots out a whole bladder. Oh, I'm going to sign up for Pornhub. We're good, thank you. Right. Quick. That's too far. That's not a respected king. I'm a cop. You've gone into waste. Come on. Let's be on Whoa. cum. Let's be on Wait. Cum comes out of the dick, too. Is all starting now to that get I think it. wait a minute. You know what, Jules? I don't think we played that EDM video of everybody at Tomorrowland dancing to this song. We should play that next when she gets back here. She's panicking, of course. I must have poured uh, the equivalent of three shots into that bowl. That was a little much. <sighs> uh, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, if you can find it in your hearts to forgive me, oh, they've forgiven me. They're saying that in my headphones. Jules, get the fuck here thank you she's back let's show them that video of tomorrowland this song yes, was such a I hit sent to you right uh, the facebook link this song was such a hit that they broke covid restriction in where do they do tomorrowland belgium belgium we got video from Bel they go mike uh your song about the golden shower it's the biggest song in belgium right now i said there is no fucking way they go i got proof so apparently they had this huge festival in Belgium, where the lockdown, you know, they're not doing the lockdown there right now. And there were like, I don't know, 150,000 people listening to this song. We got a uh, video here. We'll play that. How's everybody there? Are they still uh, in shock there from <laughs> the puking and all that? All right, here it is. Um, the video here uh, from Belgium. 
Let's watch this. Look at this. If they just saw her drink from a man's... Wow. Oh, my God. That's huge. I need to know... Oh, this could be, like, 500,000 people, right? A million. Look at this. Oh. How you justify drinking your rain look. and then from the oh bowl you spill it. And it was getting all... No, Matt. Look at People are kissing to this. All over the floor. All over Watch. the floor. Golden shower. Yeah. Golden shower. Look at that. Drink, drink from the bowl. Drink. Everyone's drink got their bowl. Golden shower. Raise your bowl. Golden shower. Put your bowl. Shot. Drink. drink from Look at that. Bowl. Drink. Drink. drink from the golden shower. Yes, she has a pass. Yeah, it's on video. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Footage from uh, Tomorrowland, Belgium. Golden shower. The top hit. Pretty fucking funny, huh? Who made that? Jack Williamson. Not real. Not Great really guy. Belgium, but very, very funny, huh? All oh, right. Uh, was there any more from that? Oh, yeah, there yeah, was. There's a bunch oh, if you okay. want. Yeah, so let's show this. Um, I don't want to do the whole jail thing. I think that's <gasps> yeah, too much. No, we don't have time. Um, but <laughs> we should focus great. on the uh, Big Mike stuff, right? Sorry, I'm a little. Uh... Are you fucked now? For there was a lot. How much shot? was in there? I, while you were pouring it, I was like, that's going to be bigger. Well, because I wanted you, you to see it, and then I forgot, like, the bottom of this bowl is <laughs> much like... larger than the bottom of a cup. <laughs> yes. And then I wanted you to see it, so I filled it up to here. This could have been like th three or four cupfuls of this. Huh. Well, really, that really did not feel good. <laughs> and now uh, my synapses are all off here. All right, so Jules, walk me through these time codes here, because there was a lot of stuff here. And shut the uh, curtain, please. It's okay. You had to panic run to get me water. Um, Lana, see what's so great about people is they don't realize, like, not everybody should be hosting talk shows. Not everybody was born incredible like host. Um, so everybody who's an influencer now thinks that they should be the host of a talk show. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of work to be uh, the host of a talk show where you're born with some talent here. Remember, there used to be three talk shows, Conan, Jay Leno, Letterman. It wasn't everybody with a Twitter has a talk show, and now everyone has a talk show. That's why they're so bad. And what a lot of people do on talk shows when they have nothing to do is either they'll uh, they'll talk about current events, or they'll be like Merch, they'll talk about the election, or they'll um, accidentally do what's called TMI. Where, and I remember this from when I started Red Bar early in the day, um, and, and remember the early Opie and Anthony. Remember this? Jim Norton, TMI. It doesn't really work anymore, but back in the day, before all this happened, I remember Opie and Anthony was like, uh, you were listening to and Jim Norton was telling these stories from his childhood about sucking dicks and all this weird stuff. And it didn't matter if it was gay or not. It was just crazy and thrilling to hear someone say this stuff out loud. You really didn't have it before that. Uh, not just before Opie and Anthony, but before podcasting, you didn't hear all these people admit to crazy fucking shit without an editor. Just didn't happen. There's no TV show that did it. And uh, what I found out through this, and I used to do this early in, in Red Bar, is it feels so good to say these things that you've never said before. It feels thrilling to you. Um, and then, like, I realized quickly, like, uh, or, or now so many people have done it that it's not thrilling now anymore. Now it's almost the reverse. So back when we never had this, it was thrilling to say all these secrets about your life, tell all these stories about your life. Now it's almost a fool's mistake to say anything, <laughs> you know? And it's like, why are you thinking about yourself this much? You know, talk about this with your friends. TMI, TMI, TMI. So Lana does this, and when people are in trouble, they don't have anything to say. They don't have a point of view. They just tell all the stories that have been building up that they've never told. Like, you don't hear a lot of personal stories from me because I've been doing the show for 18 years. My personal stories have been told. They're done, packaged, out, finished. It's out of my system. But these people, they're new, so they've got all these stories to tell. And they end up kind of saying too much, and Lana's great at this. So we learned some things about Big Mike. Hey, Big Mike, or maybe Hey, Big Dyke, people call his sister. So, Jules, let's start us off here. Uh, Tell you us. can go to 1245. Oh, my God, 1245. And remember, they're not making cookies. These girls aren't hot, and you can smell them from here. You know, I'm okay with the fake breasts as long as they don't look like two skee-balls. 
I'm not okay with fake butts of any manner. A fat injection, no matter what you're doing. A fake butt to me is way too, again, it's like that sex versus horror graph. Pretend like, uh, well, I don't know. But a fake butt is over the line to me. That to me is like black China territory. To me, fake butt is, I get a repulsion from it. Fake boobs, I don't. Unless they're really bad looking, which most of them are. But fake butt, there's no good fake butt. There's no acceptable fake butt. If I reached down and knew that this was manipulated at all, it would totally turn me off. There's something about the butt. It needs to be real. It needs to be real. The tits, you can't do anything. You can't pump up the tit. Pump, so, yeah, I want them bigger. Get the fucking implants. I don't care. <laughs> it's just... Grab them. When do I get my implants? I hope fucking soon. And maybe I'll start talking about it on the show. You know, this is Jules. Hey, Jules, let me buy you implants. Oh, okay. And then the next day, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm too scared. Well, Well, then you'll stop getting a surgery. Do you want my attention or not? Then you get them. (laughs) Is that bad? Is that gaslighting? (laughs) I want those imps. Sure. But they need to be perfect. They can't be the ski balls. Then you get them removed. Then we go back stressful. over and over again until they're right. And I'll tell you, if you guess these implants, I'll be photo- even, I'll be showing them off to everyone. You won't even get a COVID test, and I have to get my tits okay. cut off and reapplied. I ain't the girl. <laughs> Let's make something perfectly clear. I ain't the girl. Girls are here for a few reasons. <laughs> One of them is. Nakas, sorry, you want to play? You must be this big to play. Um, But fake butts, no. And I hope you're the same way. And Lana Rhodes has a big fake butt. And to me, when I see fake butt Instagram models, they come off as like cheap, Latino, gross, skid retards. Like, really. And I could tell right like. You know, I can tell right away. Most animals out there, like, all they have to do is see some skin and they're in. To me, I'll even start following a girl that used to be hot on Instagram and I see that she's going too far off the deep end and I'm disgusted by her. And I look, no one else changes. Men are animals. (laughs) And literally, as long as it's tits, they're in. It's amazing. And it sickens me. Uh, I have very, very possibly high strict standards for the women of tv Uh, you know and and you say this or that or the only if you're on tv and trying to be a hot thirst trap for money you need to be good you can't look like a fucking latino wreck from pop belly so uh we're gonna go to 12 minutes in and uh what's gonna happen here Jules? 12 45 let's this not uh and by the way you can i don't knock girls as bodies unless they've manipulated them in such well that's not true i just uh it's so sick what people are doing everybody's so shame another woman's body i would and i do it online too <laughs> you call those tits <laughs> i put that barf emoji on every nudie that I see on Instagram. Yes, every picture I see, there's a mic barf emoji yes. underneath it, and then there's like 20 girls being like, you're an old man. You're, you're 50. Why this? are you... This is it. You're 50. Why are you commenting on a young girl's page? She's 29. <laughs> yeah, what age does it not count as a young girl? I know, like everybody is so young. The They're- new thing is if anyone older than the person has something to say, it's crazy, you know. Uh, the kids these days, huh? All right, so let's uh, see. 12.45, this is just more oh, wow. of what you were talking about before of people spilling too many relationship secrets. What the hell is that? It sounds like a weed whacker. Fuck. Let's see, relationship secrets being spilled. Let's see what happens here. That's... I have to say, I'm scared. What are you going to say? Look at this. They're doing well. Jesus Christ. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I have to say, like, this is probably the first trip that we went on where we didn't even get an argument, which is amazing. Wow. wow. Love yeah. that. For a like, full 24 hours. If, if we could make, like, a week without an argument, we would be so happy with each other. <laughs> <laughs> which sounds so bad. 
But it does, know, but that's good. Hey, but that's normal and good, natural. Like, good. yeah, it's good. Yeah, right? I feel like I feel like for once we're finally starting to like figure out how to like resolve situations instead Aww. of escalating them and turning into like fights and arguments. That's yeah. good though. No, you, good. You've been dating for eight months. You shouldn't have fights and arguments. This is what I'm talking about here. If you're in a relationship and there are fights and arguments constantly, you're in the wrong. It's not how it's supposed to be. Um, but everybody thinks that's the way it's supposed to be because that's what these assholes say. I'm telling you, it's wrong. There should be no fighting and arguing. If there is, you do this. Okay. Now, don't forget, uh, if you didn't see the show before, a couple, maybe last show, we covered Lana's tweet about yes. kicking the door down. Keep Kick that the in door mind. down to murder Mr. Poor Slut. Um, last week, we saw a tweet from Lana Rhodes where the door was kicked down. It was a picture of a kicked down door. And it just said this. Today, Mike got mad at me, kicked down my door, called me a man and, and spit, spit in it. my face. And we said, whoa, what the fuck? And then she deleted the tweet. We're going to get some uh, answers here today with that. A lot of you thought, no, 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 this is a, a lie. I see the picture of this door. It doesn't look kicked down. You can't kick a door off its hinges. Peach, pear, pears, plums, syringes. <clears throat> yeah, here I come. I'm inches. Remember that? I'm an M. Um, and, uh, and maybe you were right. We're going to find out tonight. More answers on that door kick tonight. Big answers. Let's uh, see what we have here. Because, like, a lot of people only see, like, what you want them to see and, like, the happiness and, like, they think... Somebody says, LOL, so many Eminem references. Good. I thought they said, LOL, too many Eminem references. Close I got one. scared. I almost... Close. Close one. So many, but not too many yet. Okay. Do your other shows have references of any kind, or is it just Big J going, yeah, dude, that'd be sick. Hey, right, come on. <laughs> Here you go. It's perfect. So, like, yeah, the I outsiders like, yeah. need to know that, like, everyone it's struggles, not. too. Like, even, like, famous couples, you know? I want to ask Tor- Wait. Yeah. You guys have real situations? And you guys and keep it, like, so low-key. Like, I like I feel like a lot of people don't know. Low-key. Eminem. I want to show something to people and Jules. Uh, Jules doesn't know I was staring at this the whole time. Wait. You guys have real situations, and you guys keep it like so low key. Like I like I feel like a lot of people don't know this, but I respect you so. Hopefully, much no one notices me. So Hold on. like low key about Come on. your and Mike's. Jules, did you even pick up on this during the first? Pick up on what? This today. See that? A guy could stare at something like that for decades at an airport or something like that. If I was in a restaurant and I saw something like that, I'd be veering off. You'd be talking to me. I'd go, yeah. That's cool. Do you know about that? You don't even notice that that was happening. Torm Delgado, the real question, Torm Delgado, what do you think here? One of our listeners is breast obsessed. Torm Delgado, when we showed him Alex from Call Her Daddy, he goes, she got big tits. <laughs> We've been making fun of him ever since. What do you think of this one here? See this little thing popping out here? <laughs> Under the apron, it's coming out, and you see a little... Uh... Torm? What do you think of that? Torm says, oh, yes. Oh, is he here? What do you think of that, Torm? It's a woman's breast. <laughs> a honker. A squeezer. A knocker. A juicer. A yam bag. Torm likes that one relationship like that's really good because a lot of I mean, times sometimes like, whenever i get mad at him i like tweet like <laughs> okay, wait 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 did you hear what lana rose is saying about big mike hold on i want to wipe down for this event wait till you hear what lana rose says about big mike so they fight a lot right they're like itchy and scratchy they fight they fight they fight and fight and fight they fight 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 the lana and big mike show Remember that from the uh, from the Simpsons, and uh, Lana goes, "Oh, we fight all the time. Isn't that funny? Ha ha ha. We've been dating for eight months, but we always fight and hit each other. Ha ha ha." And then she's gonna start going, "When I get mad at Mike, when we're in a fight, I do." And wait till you hear what she does. See these people again. What did I tell you? TMI. You're thrown. Oh, hi. Have you ever hosted a show? No. Okay. Well, you have 52 minutes to wing it. So what they do is they leak 
information such as this. Wait till you hear what she says. I you so much for it because you're so like low key about your and Mike's relationship. Like that's really good because a lot of I times mean, sometimes like sometimes whenever I get mad at him, I like tweet like <laughs> <laughs> delete the, he the tweet, delete. Me. Cancel him. No, literally I, I got like, a LOL. Did you guys see that? <laughs> no. I got a DM from a random person who said like, they're literally like, did you see a lot of tweet? And I'm like, no, I get on Twitter. There's literally nothing <laughs> there. Okay, was, now a lot of people didn't hear this because of all the chicken edit. She goes, sometimes when I get mad at him, I tweet blah, 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 and then they all laugh. And then she goes, cancel him. So when Lana gets mad at Mike, she goes, oh, yeah? Because she has no power. But she goes, I'll show you. I got no power of you. And then she goes, Mike hit me. And he goes, what the fuck are you doing? He grabs the phone. And she goes, okay, well, then treat me nice. And then she deletes the tweet. So could that door kicking down thing be, uh, uh, be an example of Lana's Oh yeah, Mike's gonna fuck with me. We're in a fight. I'm gonna get him canceled. That'll make him apologize. Could Mike be being held hostage by Lana the Pistol Jailbird Rhodes? What Let's hear tale. this again. I can't believe it. Let's hear this again. Did I uncover the truth behind the door? Kicking? I respect you so much for it because you're so like low Let's listen to this again. Mike's relationship. Like that's really good because a lot of I times mean, sometimes like sometimes whenever I get mad at him, I like tweet like <laughs> <laughs> delete the, he the tweet delete. Me. Cancel him. No, literally I, I was like LOL. Did you guys see that? <laughs> no. I got a DM from a random person yeah, who said like, they're literally like, Did you see a lot of sweet? And I'm like, No, I get on Twitter, there's literally nothing <laughs> there. I was, was just like, like what? chirping. I'm like, what do you guys think? Like her about? tweet was about us like launching this <laughs> cooking thing. I was like, yeah, I saw What do you think of that, Torm? It's basically the whole tit falling out the side there. Fuck. May I have a squeeze? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kid I'm kidding. But hey, if your tit's gonna fall out the side, I'm gonna demograph no, and look here's at you. The question. Look at these sitting over here. Will anybody want to squeeze my tits? But they're the same tits, basically. Sorry, lady. Face is too ugly. Face is too ugly. So is yours, but all that tweet, like I favorited it, retweeted it. And so like <laughs> I just think it's so crazy because whenever things are like good with him, they're like really good. Like, so did we uh, somebody says case cracked. Are they can we go out there and yell at them? What are they doing out there? It sounds like they're flying remote control airplanes outside the window. I'll go find out. How are you gonna find out? You're afraid to even talk to the mailman. <laughs> It'll be fine. All right, so what were we going to say here? I was going to say, so if Lana is holding Mike hostage with these tweets, yeah, it's pretty funny. It is pretty us. funny, and uh, <laughs> but, I mean, you know, maybe that's why he keeps trying to dump her and getting back together with her. You're going, why did you put out this breakup video? See how fair and honest Red Bar is? Why did you put out this breakup video and then get back to her? What if she said, oh, yeah, if you break up with me, I'm going to tell the whole world that you did this, this, and this. <laughs> and he'd be like, uh, if this is happening, we need to help Mike. I'm sorry. We need to help him. A situation like this will happen again, and I can't wait to see what We happens. need to help him. Sorry. <laughs> I help fools. I give Mersh 375. I'll get Mike out of this jam. Big Mike, this could be... I'll take a million dollars, please. <laughs> We'll help you for a million dollars. If you don't let us help you, we'll tweet stuff about you. Can you get me a psychedelic song, please? Yes. Something psychedelic, please. It's time to enter psychedelia here. You know what that means. Get your reefer out and do like me. Okay, follow. Boom, 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 boom. Get me that Eminem mushroom song. I got acid. I've got mushrooms. I've got tabs and aspirin tablets. I'm your brother when you need some new... Yes, here we go, guys.